Hi guys, I'm Exact Cass and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We are busy building our infrastructure over here and I'm thinking that there is still a little bit of complexity to be dealt with over here, but at least we are moving along pretty quickly. Um, I think we'll get this done fairly effectively now. Uh, what's this guy doing? Oh, it's actually bringing in uh, fuel to over here. Anyway, that's fine. We'll do a ton more stuff here. And we do also now kind of thinking about it. Uh, do we have these guys ready to go? Yes, we do. And they should be fueled up and also ready to go. Nice. Okay, so let's quickly finish this off. Uh, lots of things for to keep us busy with. Um, so let's see. Just zoom it out a little bit. We're kind of wanting to... Come down here and uh, kind of thinking we need to do a bit of that and smooth it out even more and then we'll uh, drop that one we'll take the second one and we'll do exactly the same thing give ourselves a little bit more room um ooh, actually don't want to do that. Want to make sure we you always take the same kind of length. Um, otherwise, you start messing messing around with it. So basically, this kind of setup should be fairly reasonable. And the idea is that we will. Uh, okay, maybe that's not going to work, but think we might find that we can make it work from the other from the other one uh, if we do that okay so we're a little tight there I'm a little worried about about this this section through here so what I might do is I might just do a little bit of a trim through there and what we'll do is we'll try and tie that in again there we go. That's the one we want. That's the one we want. That's nice and covered. So I think that's going to be reasonable. If we do that, that's the one. And we do the other one. And if we go back and have a look, I mean, there's a little bit of a awkwardness over there, but... Generally speaking, that gets us a nice straight little section through there and we cover it. Okay, excellent. So let's um, uh, get that one up and running. So now these guys are available over here if we wanted to do a little bit more work here, which is something that we'll definitely um, come back to do. Now, we're also in a position to probably make a start on... Yeah, this is a bit of a... Oh no, oh, that seems to be okay. This guy, however, oh, straight through, that's good. Yeah, these need to be loading a little bit quicker, I think. But generally speaking, we seem to be... Okay, so that guy, this one over here is cleaned out quite nicely, which I am quite happy about. This guy isn't actually working, so it's not doing anything yet. That's been cleaned out. So we've got a, a vehicle related here, right, which is just kind of a... A single vehicle like that. So let's pin this one. Let's go and get this to um, start coming in here, and then yeah, and and then go and go and pop it off there. So let's just come and load mixed waste there. And instead of doing that, we'll uh, delete that one. It'll go over there, pick it up, and and move it out to. Uh, actually, we need to send you to that space to go and deliver. Is this thing full? No, oh, it's nowhere near full. Um, I hope we didn't end up pulling it over here. No, we didn't. All good. So I think we're kind of doing okay. I mean, this is this is getting ahead. We are getting ahead. It really seems like we are making progress and getting ahead. So I think our our big garbage um, collection problems has kind of started um, getting out of the way. These are looking good. Those are looking good. Not a problem. 
Um, everything is in reasonable shape. And we could probably start expanding. Oh, these would have filled out. And they don't have um, garbage collections. So we can certainly um, move a little bit more. A lot of, lot of people moving through here. Um, the indoor pool. We might do a little bit more in terms of... Uh, yeah, we can get something else built here. Let's, uh, let's get the... Uh, the garbage piece done first just to make sure that we've got that kind of sorted um, could we do it on, ooh I think we could do it on this side actually I think that's a little bit more appropriate uh, ooh but we're not covering there we go if we just get it a little closer there come on there we go. We'll get that one in place. And uh, and what we'll do is we'll pay for it. And that should be good. And we'll get make sure we get some, some biological waste in there too. We don't have a... Uh, yeah, we don't have a hospital here, right? I mean, nothing like that. So I'm thinking, what is this? This is a sports hall. Oh, so we do have multiple sporting fields. Let's get a little bit more though. What else could we grab from a sporting perspective? Something like that's pretty reasonable. Oh, that's that's quite good actually. Or maybe something smaller? We could have something smaller. We could squeeze it in. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's get it there. And at the same time, we'll get our path to run up that way. Get that one in in there. Uh, I'd like to do it something like that. And what we'll do is we'll cut it across there. I'm going to go pay for that so that we can get this one in over here also. And let's just assign commotion ops on here so they can start building that. That's going to make access a little bit easier to a lot of different things. We've got this one here. Yeah, that one doesn't really give us a lot of service. Anyway, all good. I think commotion ops is doing reasonably well. Uh, two citizens unable to visit a hospital. Where is our closest hospital? We've got the clinic over here. And then a hospital down, down this end. Um, and we probably will need something else as well. Um, so yeah, a through connection through here somewhere. What is this? This is secret police. All of that, pretty good. Um, we could do with a little bit of a, a little bit of a statue in this location. Can we find something? like that and we'll also get that set up like so I'll just pay for that and then we can get commotion off onto onto that so that we uh, we do a little bit of uh, necessary work there this is slowly filling up so good so good that's looking pretty reasonable uh, let's quickly see what else is going on let's close off all of this um, now what we we need power all the way to the other side there, right? And as it stands, we don't really run power beyond this. So what are we doing here? This is allowing. But we can't get more than 18 megawatts through this thing, right? So that's the absolute maximum. So. What we in fact really need is we need to run a separate one. So actually, I'll just do another one over here um, so that we can run two because we do have the other splitter um, right in this location. So we can actually st still run straight through there. Um, but we're not actually using that much. But anyway, let's just make sure we do it. Let's just make sure we do it. Building is without power supply. Yeah, that's probably right. Um, okay, let's get another going. 
Um, more infrastructure, please. Um, presumably, it'll work like that. And what we can do is we'll just tie this one in. Um, at the same time, I will then get rid of that. Don't, uh, don't do any more than that. We'll pay for that change there. We'll uh, get this constructed. And then the idea would be, ah, we may as well get rid of that one too. So let's get rid of this one here also. Get rid of that. And then we'll just bring in that last section there. 18 megawatts. Something like that. To do the trick. Let's, uh, let's pay for that one. So there we go. So now we've got 18 megawatts running through here. Um, and we can run a separate one up there. And also run... Um, some stuff down this way. Uh, so stuff down here. And we'll go all the way up here. And uh, see about tying it in. It's a little tight there. Let's uh, let's just bring it up to here in a reasonable fashion, and we'll tie it in there. Um, I might not build that just yet. And then the idea is now from here we we kind of run. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to run it pretty much alongside. We can cross over and come to this side. But I think that's uh, probably a good starting point all the way to there. So let's uh, get that assigned and we can get Komoshinovsk onto that one. So they can start building building that one. So we've got some extra, extra stuff going that way. Now, the one thing we also need to do is probably expand our capabilities uh, associated with um, rail construction. We only still only have this one facility. It's got four assigned to it. Only doing two sections of... Oh, it's doing nothing at the moment. Are we all done with the rail? Let's just have a quick look. Uh, we're definitely not all done with the rail. So let's... Oh, it's gone through there. It's good. So uh, make a start on that one for us. And... Um, make a start on this one. And we could also do... Uh, probably some of these that'll can that can run you through from the other side. Oh, look at this! A lot of stuff is actually getting built now, to the effect where we can actually start um, distributing some stuff in here. Ah, I do like it. We've got meat storage. We've got um, this is just the general storage over here, and um, and this will be gravel. So gravel shouldn't be too far off. Let's see about getting Termolsky assigned to some of these facilities. Get as much of this going as we can. Um, get some of these things going. Excellent. Just, just get as much built as we possibly can. Um, these sections are under construction. Cool. I like it. Now that we've got this starting to move, we can actually start having a look. Though we will need to just get our rail construction moving in a little bit before we get there now what i'll do is all the way on the other side we're going to want to start uh, start working on our rail um from here so where we've got to cross over there and let's just have a look at what our uh things are okay so this will allow the construction over there and we'll just uh, basically just assign um two pieces of construction there so let's um Let's go back, grab our construction office, our rail construction office here. How many sections? It's got like three of them assigned. Uh, let's make sure to also start work on this side. Excellent. Get that moving. Get that moving. Get get started. Get in there and that'll, that'll work. This road section is going pretty well. We're doing the paving. Still got a lot of construction going before we get there. Um, and then we need to start looking at a few other things. But let's, um, while we've got this going, let's let's at least look at what we can do with regards to this. We don't want to 
Uh, it doesn't matter too much to go. Uh, come on. That's okay. We'll go down there. Okay, excellent. Now, um, I'm kind of tempted to run it just through here. Make sure we, um, we give ourselves a bit of room there. That's pretty good. And we will try and I think, I think in here is probably a good spot. So what I'll do is I'll line it up to be able to bridge over there. Let's do something like that and we'll plan our, our section of road to, to do that. So if we did this, that's pretty good actually. And we'll go down here, all the way through there, and we'll go in this way, and we'll make it in there. Perfect. That's good. That is a good alignment. And um, and then we'll tie it in over there. That is reasonable planning, I think. Reasonable planning. We'll just make sure we keep our spacing appropriate. But that gives us a pretty good um, a good, pretty good angle of attack there. Let's uh, clear out the middle sections. There's lots of uh, construction that needs to happen here. And we probably need to set up a little bit of a town to be able to really uh, move that into the right direction. We can leave that there. That's going to be fine. But that's kind of the planning that we've got to this side. Similarly, we want to do um, probably tie through where. Let's just see. If we open this up, let's close that out. That goes down that way. I think that's pretty good. We can probably... Hmm. Yeah, if we run this one through there, I think that's pretty good. That means that you can come in here to this border crossing. Yeah, so we really need to go up through that section there. Yeah, if we're going up here, we need to go through there, make a turn, and then run up this way. Yeah, I think so. Then we go that way. Yeah, something like that is really what we'll need to do. So we can access from the other side as well. I think that's probably about right. So let's close this one out and just make a little bit of an extension of the section through here by doing this. And we can always put the rail through here as well. Just want to make it a little bit... Uh, to be honest, maybe that's too much. Let's just trim it back a little bit. Like so. And even on this side a little bit, so we get it moving. There we go. So something like that will be okay. Now, let's, uh, let's see about... No, nope, that's not actually tying in. Let's take the connection there and... Tie that one in that way. How did that go? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Go around there and tie that one in. And bring this one back all the way. Something through that section. Now, um, we could then, obviously, we, what I think is we need to run it through there. But we can always um, provide a road access to that side. So I think over here is probably where we want to straighten it up. There we go. That should be pretty level. And the idea is to do something like that. Tie that one in and bring that one around. Okay. Um, this will... Maybe what we do is we get a bit of a roundabout going in here. So that we can actually facilitate access to... Ooh. That's a pretty reasonable border crossing. But we don't really need to activate both of them, I think. Though we could if we if we do the roundabout thing. What I'm kind of thinking is let's trim it back a tad. Through here. And I think a roundabout on this section of road is probably sufficient. So if we were to say... Uh, 
Ooh, let's let's start it off with like uh, 180. Yeah, I think that's about right. And then what I'll do is there's a little section here that I want to put them back just so that we, and then we do, do that. That is a, I think that's a reasonably sized roundabout. What I need to do is see, can we, we can't actually do that. So what I'd like to do is let's do, we can't do that, can we? Do that and we'll do this. And then I want to see about trimming these out. Excellent. That's fine. And what we'll do is we'll trim this back a little bit. Because ultimately the idea is that we will tie it in like so. And similarly, we would want to come out of that and tie it in there. That's okay. I'm I'm comfortable with, uh, with, with that. I mean, it's not perfectly angled, but I mean, um, roundabouts generally have a bit of a deflection angle going, so it's not the end. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. It's actually a reasonably good thing. So let's trim those back a little bit. What we'll do is we'll get our deflection angle going up there. Yeah, that's actually reasonable. Uh, we'll bring this one a little closer and we'll tie that in there. Uh, do I, do I redo this one? Yeah, let's redo this section through here. Trim that one back a little bit, and what we'll do is we'll just um, do that and do that. Um, I think that's actually pretty good. And now we've got a roundabout in this area where we can um, go and connect to that side, provide our access points. Um, and that's, I think I'm going to just leave it there for the time being. We need a, a lot of work. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done here. So if I have a look at that, that gives us um, pretty reasonable um, road connectivity to, to multiple additional directions here. And as we tie in over here at the top, we'll come back through here. We'll tie in there. That'll, that'll help a lot. Let's, um, let's move down this way. I just want to see... There's anything we can do here. I'm kind of also wondering whether we run some form of highway connection through there and ultimately maybe something through here as well. Um, okay, so now we're here. This is where we're ending. What does this look like? Oh, we don't actually have rail connectivity here. But at the very least, we can we can run a little bit of um, we can run a little bit of road out this way. You have to have a bit of a look at how I'm actually going to tie that in. Um, I'm kind of going to start it straight, and then we're going to match the contour a little bit, so that it um, just looks a little bit more natural here. And then we're going to try and uh, try and match that contour as best we can. Uh, probably something like that. I think is going to give us reasonable connectivity. Then we can have multiple access points through here. And we can even um, bridge across here and then see where that, where that rail connection has to go to. Um, we, we would probably need to uh, move down that way, right? Come down here. Is there rail? There's no rail here. That is quite interesting. So is there rail over here? No. So there has to be rail... No rail there. No. Oh, there's a rail there. So we really need to um, run our rail through there and tie it in there. And this one then needs to kind of come into these directions. So it's probably going to end up tying in over here. So we need that one to run through there. You can even um, tie off rail on that side bridge at the same location and, and make, make our way over this way too. Okay, so that's kind of some of the bit of planning that we've got going on. Now, let's see how this is progressing. I kind of want to get the, the next steps moving. Oh, it's moving quite nicely. I will um, pay for that so we can just get, um, get things moving a little bit um, with some of these little bits and pieces that we may have missed out on. But this is looking very good, guys. Very, very good. What's going on with our, with our tracks? Got this guy finishing off. I like it bit of uh, bridging that needs to happen. There's still a little bit of work there. There's a bit of work that needs to happen in this location. Um, 
let's uh, let's assign the next piece there let's uh, get the contours out of the way there's a lot of construction that still needs to happen if i go with rail construction how many sections do you have you still have a few sections under construction at the moment but we may as well start assigning more of those is there a section here under construction yes there is so that's they're probably struggling to get all of these done at the same kind of time but anyway, that's looking reasonably good, and we are moving along. So let's get the, I think the helicopters aren't actually um, working on too much anymore. Yeah, yeah, they've basically stopped. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to, to make a start on some of these. So let's, let's get the helicopters uh, working on that, so we can get that moving. And uh, is there anything here that still needs construction? All of this is actually done. Oh, no, no. There's this piece of rail here that still needs a little bit of work. I do kind of wonder what kind of construction activities we still need to need to get going on here. Or we'll just kind of support the road construction. I think that might be a pretty good idea. So that we uh, can make sure there's multiple access points for a lot of stuff to happen. Excellent. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So the helicopters would have uh, jumped the way and gone. Now, who can distribute um, some stuff for us here? Let's just see. Are we loading gravel at all? Uh, we don't have anybody loading gravel. Doesn't seem to be anybody loading gravel over here. So the where where where's all our gravel? Uh, we can we can collect gravel over here. What is this? Reconstruction in progress, new used. Hmm. Okay, maybe just saying what's what's available. Why would we have a stored vehicle here? That's a little weird. Um, let's just let's just do that. Get it done. Um, now, so this should be able to. Oh no, this is an unloading. This is unloading. This one is loading up gravel and it has plenty of gravel ready to go. Do we have any related vehicles in here? So that one is just on its own little line moving gravel to other places. So what I'm thinking, let's buy a train. What are these? Waste stuff. Okay, let's buy a train. This is a new guy. Uh, let's just go electric locomotives. I want to see what we've got. This one I think is, I think that is pretty new. No, that's not new. This one is new. It's pretty expensive. We're currently running. Oh, actually, 160 is a reasonable is a reasonable speed. So if we want to try and maintain that kind of speed, so let's buy one of those. Oh yeah, they are. That would be very good. Um, and we'll also get um, cargo wagons. Uh, actually, let's see. If we go to the dollar side of things. Now, I'm not thinking going to buy a lot of dollar stuff. But if we go cargo wagons, we should have hoppers for, um, for gravel, right? 72 tons. Right? That's massive. So I'm thinking something like that, right? Covered hopper. Yeah, I'm thinking something like that. 72 tons of gravel compared to cargo wagons. Um, standard hopper of 50 gravel tons of gravel. That's not too bad. This is 56. 29. EAS bulk cargo. That's that's way too bad. This one is EAS bulk cargo, fifty-six tons. Maybe that's the one we we run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I think. Uh, we don't want to get too. Um, we don't want them to get too long. That's okay. I think that's going to be fine. You're gonna pop in here. You're gonna load up on gravel. And you're gonna move. Um, 
Gravel over there. Wait until unloaded. Gravel. Uh, we just need to make sure we can actually um, do the work through here. But I think we'll be okay. Let's do that. And uh, make a start for us there. Uh, we don't actually have room for helicopters to pick up here. Might have to um, rejig things a little bit. This Oh, it's not powered, so it's going to just uh, stop here, basically. That's okay. This is also not powered. Um, we need to limit some amounts here. We would like um, probably about 25 there. Zero. 25. Uh, 25. Zero. 25. Zero. And zero. Um, so that's a lot of stuff that we can bring in. Uh, these are ready to go. We would like um, a storage for bitumen and a storage for fuel. That's good, but still nothing is powered over here. We need to limit some amounts in this area. We don't need crops. So zero crops. Uh, we'll probably bring a little bit of chemicals. I don't think we're going to do fabrics. Uh, we'll bring a little bit of alcohol. We'll probably want about 50% uh, of food. We'll probably want about 20 or so of that. We'll need a little bit of electronic components. We'll need a little bit of this, a little bit of plastic, a little bit of that, and zero there. So that gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 60. <laughs> yeah, we're nowhere, we're nowhere near it. So let's go down to 5 here. We need to drop a further 10. Uh, let's do this one down to 40, I think. Uh, actually, we can drop that one down to 5. And I think we might... Uh, that, it's the, uh, yeah, and then we can do this one down to 45. Something like that. Oh, it didn't quite work out, but that's okay. Um, I think it's pretty reasonable numbers, to be honest. Lots of electronics, actually. Yeah, but it's it's reasonable. These numbers are, are reasonable. So that's a, that's a good little warehouse set up there. Um, these needs to be set up for for some collections and things. So that's all good. We do need power. Uh, we have power over here, so we can basically start extending our power a little bit. Um, and I might pay for it to be honest, so that we can so we can start working on things a little bit better. Now, um, I think we might still run underground, to be honest. That runs back that way. I think we can still do the double underground this way. We'll just get a few spots where we can actually tie off some power. The idea is generally that we just tie off power over here. So give me a few of these things. Uh, a few of these. I'm pretty comfortable with spot over there, a um, spot so, say somewhere over here, and then we'll need to start the running power through town, um, so I'm thinking maybe something like that really, uh, ooh, if we go underground, might be a little challenging right there, so let's just move it over a tab, okay, let's just move it over just a little bit. I think that should be sufficient. That'll be pretty good, I think. We've got this guy parked, ready to unload, but because it's not powered, it's it's a it's a big issue. So what we do need to do is just make sure that we're getting our our directionality going here. Um, I think let's let's make room for a little bit more. And then we can actually squeeze in one more in there. So I think that's pretty good. Um, we'll get that one going. And we will chain it up over here. And the rest of that can be fine. But at least now that's um, kind of covered. Uh, this still needs to be finished off. There's still a little section needing, of, needing some love over here. Good. We do have these guys ready to go. With uh, if, if if we should get if we're going to get some fire um, over here, so that's looking pretty good. I think this area is not too bad. 
Um, let's bring in the power. That's the plan for the time being so that we can actually get the construction in this area up and running. If we go underground with the big guys, 12 megawatts underground, and the plan is generally what we'll do is we will... on something like that. Almost, always surprised that I'm struggling so much to get this stuff to, to actually work like that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll run that guy over here. The straight line through there wasn't quite what I had in mind. But what we'll try and do is we'll try and I'll get here a little bit and then we'll Oh are we Oh we're too close to this building, hang on. Uh There we go. Actually that works really well. We'll go that way, that, that one, that way. Try and do... Try and... Why? Uh, so actually quite close is what we're after. Uh, if that's the case, should we trim it back a little bit? This one doesn't want to actually do... If we go back all the way over there and then we run it really close to here and we tie it in there, it's actually a, a lot easier way of doing it. Some infrastructures in the way. That actually works super well. We run it straight through there, all the way there, tie it in. That's good stuff. And we'll tie this one in here. There we go. That'll work. Excellent. So now that should give us the power setup that we need um, to start running numerous power angles through here. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go back. Uh, and what we'll need to do is give us give ourselves a little bit of um, road connectivity to these items here. There's no, there's no road connectivity on those. Uh, let's just batch those so that they can maybe make a start. Uh, I think that should work. Even though it looks funny now, I think it should be fine. Now let's get a distribution facility here. So with a transformer. Okay, power uh, transformers. The idea is generally that we would like a little something. Yeah, probably somewhere over here is good. Or a little something over there. Um, though, I might want to keep a little bit of room for... Yeah, it's going to be a little awkward. Let's see, is that a... Yeah, it's quite hills, hilly. So really, we will need to move it to somewhere over there and get ourselves a piece of road in there. We'll get that constructed and we'll bring in a piece of power. Now, I'm kind of wondering whether we do like the seven megawatt or something. I don't think we need we need the, um, the 12 megawatt um, in here. So let's do the seven. Get the seven in there, that should be fine. We can still run something this way. Uh, we also can still run something that way. So it should be, should be okay. 
pretty reasonable power. Um, let's uh, let's activate the construction of all the power pieces. Um, so that should be fine, and then we can start getting some power distribution going on. So if we were to say get a power facility spot. Right there, that's actually covering a fair bit. And then maybe we'll also do these right over here. I think that'll cover a fair bit in this area. Let's get the, um, the medium voltage underground wiring. Um, okay, so from this side, I'll probably do it there. We do something like this instead, and then on this side, let's let, let me do it from there. So we'll so there we go. We'll do something like that, and we'll assign that to construction. To be honest, I might end up paying for this just so we can start moving things along a little bit quicker. So let's do that. Let's do this, and um, I might I might be paying for all of this stuff. So let's uh, let's quickly do that. Let's pay for all of this stuff. Pay for all of that. Pay for all of this. And if we go back, I think we'll need to pay for this one. And we'll need to. Oh, that is built. Uh, we're building those. I think that it should be under construction. But, ooh. Let's get that built as well. And we'll get this one built. So now we should have power in this area. Uh, meaning that this guy, yeah, is emptying nicely. Good. Getting out of the way, these pieces have been built. That is supposed to be under construction, but for some reason it's not doing anything. Are we missing some materials? Let's just double check that. We're probably closing up on the end of the episode here. We're not missing any materials. There's multiple pieces of work that's supposedly underway. So I'm not too sure where of all of our mechanisms are doing their thing. There may well actually only two of them would be working on that side. We've got breakdowns going on all over the show um, because these guys aren't getting maintained properly, which is always a bit of a hassle for us. Oh, this is looking awesome. That is looking awesome. So now we've got. Um, at least we've got some stuff going on there. From a helicopter's perspective, I don't think we've got this stuff here. Can we have a quick look? Can we squeeze in? Uh, it's not this one. It's this one, really. If we were to do this. Uh, actually, we could make this work. We could absolutely make that work. Something like that, very close to the rail. But that should be okay. I'm quite happy to, to build that. I may also <laughs> get that built. Um, and then, on the other side of things, maybe a road collection facility. Truck aggregate loading. Can we make it work here? Please, let's make it work. We can. We can make it work there. Good stuff. Let's get that built. So now, these guys will be collecting gravel from there. Right? And we'll copy them over once we've got it sorted. Um, we can load up on all kinds of other things over here. Look at this. Oh, is it going to assign all those storages? Yes, it is. Uh, mechanical components and electric components will be over here. Asphalt and concrete is the piece that we don't have sorted at the moment. So if we wanted to do asphalt and concrete, we may do it um, in this location. And we'll have to like pipe some stuff through here as well. So if we wanted to do, let's quickly have a quick look at asphalt construction, asphalt uh, for construction industry, concrete plant. Yeah, that's going to be fine. We'll have to bring cement in. 
but I'm pretty comfortable with this. We may want to get a helicopter parking next to it. Let's just drop that one in there. We will definitely want to run something across the rail here. Uh, and one thing that I will do is I will do that to just clean that up a little bit. Now, on the other side of this, we want asphalt. Asphalt can go, yeah. Asphalt can go in here, but then, then we don't have connectivity. So let's try it again. If we were to do it this way instead, no, we will have to. If we wanted to do, yeah, so maybe this is actually, uh, and this one might be the slightly more challenging one to drive through, unless we just cross over this way. Mm. Yeah, this one will be a bit more challenging to deal with, unless we try and push it this way. Though this is getting a little bit close, too close for comfort. So if we did this, like, let's have a, quick, have a quick look. If we wanted to add ourselves a helicopter piece, we can. That is not a problem. So hang on. Let's try this again. We could give me the asphalt. So if we do that, there'd be room for a road to, um, to go alongside it here, right? Let's do that, right? So we'll get that one moving. Okay, so we can get helicopters to pick up concrete. The next piece that we're looking for is asphalt. Okay, so from an asphalt perspective, we would like to flip it around, I think. Oh, no. Um, yeah, uh, uh, flip it around like that, I think. And maybe something like this, to be honest. If we do something like that, we could still do another helicopter and we can just get it in there. Uh, let's get another helicopter s assigned. So, so see, halfway planning. Uh, and that will actually work. I like that. Okay, so with that in mind, the best thing for us to do now is make sure we can actually get it to work. Um, so I would like a conveyor. We might be able to. Oh my goodness, look at that. Absolutely get it in place. Get it in place. Take my money. <laughs> um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get a piece of road in here though. But we'll definitely get a road there. Concrete might be a bit of a, a, bit of a hassle for us there. Anyway, we want to do this. And, ooh, we are going to get it across the line here. Let's tighten that up a little. And we'll run, we'll actually run it fast that way. And like so, and like so. And this will work. We'll tie that one in, and we'll tie that in. I like it. I might build this, to be honest, just to get us, get us going. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Get us going here. With this powered... Oh, it won't have water, though. It won't have workers. But at least it's there, ready to go. And we're filling it up with, with some of the necessary items. We also need bitumen to go and out that way. I'm kind of thinking, is this is the bitumen storage. If we have a look um, at our piping capabilities here, can we, can we run a bitumen pipe? We would be able, in my in my thinking, we'd be able to do that and run. Uh, a bitumen pipe out this way. And I think we're going to need. Um, something to pump it forward. So I'll need a forward pump. If we go to pumps. Oh, look at all these pumps. I love them. Um, 
like pumping stations, so our underground pump, just a little pump over here, that's fine, get our underground pipe to go in there, um, and then what we'll want to do is just turn it around like so, there we go, it's a pretty pricey little piece of infrastructure, but I'll, I'll go ahead and pay for that, uh, we want to get things done here a little quicker so we can make that work, uh, give me, give me that, give me that. But now bitumen will go directly in here. So we'll, we, we'll be loaded up with everything we need, but we don't have drinking water and the like here just yet. Um, so we're still a little bit problematic in terms of some of the things we need, but that's, uh, it's getting a lot closer. Um, that guy could ultimately provide access through there as well, which I, which I'm, I'm not too, too afraid of. Okay, guys, I am leaving that there. That's going to be the end of the episode. Uh, we are in a pretty tight position. We can bring in some power over here, and then we can have even uh, closer access to, um, to fuel for all of our vehicles. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to definitely start working with, uh, with our new construction offices over here. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button, um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.